Welcome to Engineering Mechanics Dynamics, and this lesson is on kinetics of a particle. And we were talking about kinematics, but now we're going to be talking about kinetics. So I'll quick throw up uh, the definitions of the two to remind you of them. And so kinematics is the study of the geometry of motion without regard to the forces causing the motion. And kinetics is the study of the relationship between the forces on a body and the motion of the body. And so earlier in dynamics, we were focusing on how things moved. And now we'll be focusing on why they move. And so the first idea in kinetics um, is going to be Newton's second law. And so this is if the resulting force acting on a particle is not zero, the particle will have an acceleration proportional to the magnitude of the resulting of the resultant and in the direction of the force i.e. force equals mass times acceleration And so what this is saying is if there is a force, there will be an acceleration proportional to that force in the direction of that force. And so force equals mass times acceleration. Um, so the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. That's the main thing with kinetics. And so in statics, you always have the sum of the forces equals zero. Now in dynamics, some of the forces will equal mass times acceleration. Now we're going to sidetrack a little bit and talk about Newton's Law of Gravitational Attraction and Weight. And so Newton's Law of Gravitational Attraction is force equals the gravitational constant times the mass of one object times the mass of a second object divided by the distance they are apart squared. And so if we apply this to Earth, and we take this mass as the mass of Earth and this mass as the mass of what's being attracted to the Earth. We can take this whole part and that is going to equal G. And what I mean by G is that's the acceleration due to gravity. And so if you're in the SI system, metric system, that's 9.81 meters per second squared. And if you're in the English system, that's going to be 32 feet per second squared. And so now we have a force equals an acceleration times a mass. Or force equals mass times acceleration. And what exactly is this force? Well, this force is the weight force. And so weight equals gravity times mass. Now I'll quick erase this to make some more room. And now I'm going to show how the SI system versus the FPS or English system uh, differ on how they use these units. All right, now we have these two objects with weights and so in the SI we have a weight which equals mass times gravity and gravity is acceleration which is in meters per second squared and mass is in kilograms so it's pretty simple um, in FPS in the English the English system um, a little bit more confusing and so we have an acceleration, which is gravity, which equals feet per second squared. And our weight is in pounds. So our weight is a unit. And our mass is the derived unit. Whereas the weight is the acceleration of, equals acceleration times mass here, the force. Um, here, mass equals the weight times the gravity. And that is called a slug. 
And now I'm going to talk about a free body diagram versus a kinetic diagram. And so we have force one and force two, which equals the sum of the forces. And this is our free body diagram. This is equivalent to a mass times an acceleration, which is our kinetic diagram. And that's all for this lesson. Keep working hard and learning engineering, mechanics, dynamics.